After a good night's rest, we packed our bikes and headed back to the same restaurant from yesterday where we planned our route for the day ahead. This road from Borsko Lake to Zagubica offers truly stunning views that I highly recommend. After breakfast, we made the decision to download the track for Homelske Mountains once more utilizing the Balkan Enduro website. The rain that we were avoiding the whole day yesterday finally caught up with us. We made a decision to take shelter under a tree, hoping that the thunderstorm would not reach us. Ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> One hour later. Two hours later. Over done. As we watched Granny walking confidently in the rain without any cover, we couldn't help but feel a bit embarrassed about our fancy waterproof gear. Since we couldn't see any signs of the rain stopping, we couldn't wait any longer. Due to the time we lost waiting for the rain to stop, we made a decision to ride only the upper circle of the track. Surprisingly, just a few kilometers away from the spot where we encountered heavy rain, the terrain turned dry and the rain came to the halt. Snimu 
And then we encountered a slippery and technically challenging section of the track. Бриш и сетите снимки. Не бре. Мърза се. Види мука. Да идем лево да сте. Кажа да има нещо да отналева и то отмах ту. Нема нищо. И я мисля да нема да ту некъде. Feeling drained from handling the big bikes through the challenging terrain, it was time for a well-deserved rest. I neglected to mention that Mika had opted for a different route, so we plan to reunit at Jagubica as our designated meeting point. With our off-road adventure coming to an end, we packed our belongings one last time and resumed our journey back home. But before that, we experienced a bit of a drama. Вече да го натегнем на лама си вулци. Лакили, ми манеш да резолви това релативно лесно. With heavy hearts, it was a time to say our goodbyes. We bid farewell to Mika as he headed off to Parachi. On our way home, we discovered a fascinating old and deserted monastery in the rock. Later on, I learned from the internet that it was constructed at the end of the 14th century.
Once again, it was a time to bid farewell. This time to Martin. This time. And here comes the most tedious part of the trip, the highway. Driving on the highway feels like a court-imposed punishment, but thinking about the incredible adventure we had made it bearable. My socks from the first day were so smelly that I had no choice but to find this solution for them. <laughs> 